What's up everybody, welcome back. Yes, you guys have been watching this come together for how many weeks is that? Six weeks, seven weeks now? You guys have been watching this come together for about seven weeks. Okay, it's been seven weeks for you guys. It's been a lot longer for me. Building it, putting it together, and having the tank cycle. I wanted to let the tank cycle for about 60 days, uh, two months before I put anything into the tank so, that I, know, so I know that it would be ready to hold any life in there. Well, it didn't work out that way. I went to buy snails for the sump on the bottom to just go ahead and clean it up and eat some of that algae underneath there. While I was there getting snails, I just saw the things that I had to have and it was right, they were right there. I'm on day 50. I fell 10 days short of the two month cycle, but I know you guys have been waiting, so we're gonna go ahead and reveal the tank today. So without further ado, here we go. And here is the tank. Up and running. You can see two little, over here, two little fish swimming around right now. The light is on a cycle, so it starts off in the morning, it ramps up, it gets pretty bright, and then at the end of the night, it ramps back down to do sunset. These are two AI primes. It is a 40 gallon tank, like you've seen before. You'll see these two fish. They are clownfish. The name of these little fish, because they're two clowns, one is Lisa, and one is Danny. You can tell the difference between Lisa and Danny because Lisa has a black headband. And Danny does not. These little reddish pieces in there are small pieces of rock rubble that I bought from a, that local fish store. Well, it's not local, it's a fish store in San Diego and they have coralline algae on it. Eventually, all the rock will be that color purple or pinkish. It's a pinkish, it'll have a different shades of pink and purple. This is my first coral that I put in. It is a green star polyp. It will eventually take over that whole rock. That rock was placed there just for that. And you can see it's kind of on an island. It's not touching anything else. That little rock looks pretty close, but it is not touching it. So that coral will actually overtake that whole rock. There will be no stopping it. And if I want it to grow anywhere else, I can cut a piece off and move it and <clears throat> it'll take over that rock. My newest addition that I got last night from somebody that I met were these three little guys. One is opened up right now. The other two still are shy. They are Rasta Zoas or Zoanthids or better known as Rasta Zoas. You can see the coloration inside there. It's hard to see but I'll put a picture up what they should look like. They are pretty small. Two are still closed up. You can see the one on that side. The one on the far left is still closed. He's unhappy about the change in venues from the tank he was in to the tank he's in now. The one in the middle is semi-opening up and the one on the right is happy and content. He's opened up. My eventual goal is to buy several different zoanthids such as that. They come uh, bigger and they're going to cover up this whole area, maybe a little bit of that side, and then we'll have a couple more corals and things up in here. And we're gonna add fish slowly but surely. Now to move down and look into the sump, you can see there's a lot of life going on already. This is the one and only piece of live rock that I've ever bought that I tried to start the coralline algae. It had a ton of coralline on it. I put it into the sump, you can kinda see here on the right side that some of the rocks are starting to get that purple uh, coloring to it. The problem with it was you can see all these little red tubes that are sticking off of there. When I first read up on it, I thought it said that it was just some type of coralline algae, which I was very excited about. I did a water change and what happened was 
these things started shooting out webs of mucus. You can see it here. I posted that to an aquarium reef site on Facebook and got the right answer finally. Those things are called vermid snails. They're actually snails that live in that tube. And what they do is they filter feed to capture more food as they shoot out those stringy webs and then bring them back in and eat all the stuff that's on it. The problem is with the zoanthids that I have, if this mucus stuff gets up into the display tank, it will actually just start like a chemical warfare. Luckily, that rock was only 10 bucks. Unfortunately, uh, all the coralline algae and on it, everything, it's gone. I eventually took that rock out and I just bleached it and killed everything on that rock. So all of that was gone. You can see here, this big ball of algae that I have in here is called Chato algae. You can see that that's, that's a small little bristle worm here. Uh, there's several of them that just live inside the, the Chato algae. And what happens is these worms are bottom feeders, so they will eat any leftover food, fish waste, any of that kind of stuff. They break it down further, and that's why I, got, I have these ones in the sump. Also down here, what you can see, there's a, there's a bunch of small copepods that are in there also. I got that piece of Chato algae from a fellow reefer. He gave me two small, he gave me three small pieces and it's grown into this. That, that Chato algae almost fills up a five gallon bucket now. It grows pretty quickly. So as you can see, that tank is well on its way. With that green star polyp in there, and those three zoanthids, I am well past the spot that I wanted when I first started saltwater fish tank keeping. I'm well past the point that I wanted to be at when I had my previous tanks. I wanted those things and I never got them because I didn't think they were gonna live. I was having a hard time keeping fish alive and we know why. I was using tap water. Like I said before, it's horrible to use tap water. There are so many minerals in there Chlorine, chloramines, everything that's just gonna kill your fish and kill all your corals. You can see that there is no or there's no algae growing on any of those rocks right now. The reason is because for two months this tank has sat in the dark. No lights. The only time I've turned the light on is to show friends and family that have come over, kind of explain things to them. This side, this side of the tank, which seems pretty bright, you can see that light does shine in. With all the light that's coming in from this window into that side, in order to make sure that no algae is gonna grow on this, on these rocks because of the sunlight, what I did was I just went to Walmart, I bought this, I bought this black poster board and I cut it. And I put it just underneath the lip of this so that it made it dark enough for light not to get in on that one side. It blocks the light. So the only ambient light it had was the light from the room here in the front and from the top. The top does have, it's open, but it is a net, it's a nylon net so that the Greg Luganus fish that I might have will not jump out. In case you didn't get that, you're too young. Greg Luganus was a diver, yeah. These fish can break dance on the floor once for about 20 seconds or so. And that's it. You can see that we're well on our way. And I'm gonna keep you updated on when I put new things in the tank, Christmas is coming up. So in case you want, there is a link down below. There isn't a link below, but if you want, you can send me money. Just, uh, you can send me money for corals, whatever it takes. It's gonna take some money to fill those things up. But, and it's gonna take a lot of patience because as you put them in, you're gonna have to put them in and then they grow in. So it's gonna take a while, but there's my tank. You guys have watched it from beginning till now. It's not, I'm not gonna say it's the end because the end is the day that I tear it all down and throw it away when it's all failed me or something, I don't know. But that day will never come because it'll be an upgrade when we buy a bigger house and then we get a bigger tank and it covers that whole wall there. That's, that's what Tara wants. Tara really wants to fill up a whole wall and I told her no, we're gonna start with a small tank right now and that's where we're gonna go, but. Anyways, I thank you guys for watching all these weeks. If you haven't seen them, there is a playlist on there. Just start from the beginning and watch it to where it is now if you wanna know any part on how I built any of this. But I thank you guys for sticking around, watching it, there it is. 
and I will keep you guys up to date on how all the corals and everything are doing and when we add new fish. Alright, have a good one. See you in the next video.